got a really quick chance to uh, jump in the car and come down and check out DC Rivals Hypercoaster here at Movie World and uh, step you through a couple of the elements and things that are going to make this roller coaster really exciting. Firstly, here we've got that 61 and a half meter drop. So that's basically the tallest drop of any roller coaster here in Australia. And it's that sweet spot of just being the most perfect height for a kick ass roller coaster. You go too tall, roller coasters end up being needlessly short or over budget or just not fun. But at that sort of hyper coaster height, which is anywhere between 60 to 80 meters, um, roller coasters in that sort of category just seem to just totally kick ass in terms of the right amount of speed, force, length, airtime. So basically, once we hit that 61 and a half meter drop that twists 90 degrees vertically, you go into what they call an airtime hill or a camelback hill. So basically, you're going to hit that at quite a lot of speed and go over the top there and get a lot of airtime. From there, we go into basically what is a non inverting loop. Um, so as you go up one side, the loop actually does a full twist, and as you hit the top of the lift, you're actually up to the right way. You're up the right way again, and then you twist back down. So you don't actually technically ever go upside down. Um, from there, we go into what they call a stingle dive. So a stingle dive is essentially sort of like a uh, twist in the air that sort of is a really weird overbanked turn in a sense. It's kind of hard to explain, but you'll see it in the video there. And then we have an inclined dive loop. So basically, you jump back up into the air again, do a full twist, almost 180 degrees, and then switch back down again. Followed by a loop of like twists and turns that are really cool. You can hit those at like momentous speed. A huge helix, so you go around a big 360 circle, in fact, more than 360. And then you uh, basically exit all of that and do a whole of like little bunny hills that will give you little pops of air, and then you hit the station again. And it's all over in under two minutes, but it's going to be the best two minutes of any ride here uh, on the Gold Coast, I'm going to say. So, uh, look, if you get the chance, I'm pretty sure Fright Nights is going to be one of the best opportunities to ride rivals, but uh, otherwise, I'd highly recommend keep an eye on our worlds. We'll keep posting updates on when it's going to open and uh, get down here and ride it.